As more and more people use Sunday as a day of rest, it's important to remember that not everyone follows this tradition. For example, I choose to observe the seventh-day Sabbath, which is on Saturdays. This means that while many people are relaxing on Sundays, I'm attending church services and practicing my faith on Saturdays. The Sabbath, which starts on Friday sunset and ends on Saturday sunset, is a key part of my spiritual beliefs. This day is all about rest, worship, and prayer, it's a time to reflect on my faith, connect with others, and take a break from the demands of daily life. I believe that by dedicating this day to Almighty God, Yahweh, I'm able to find peace and strength that sustains me throughout the week. The Bible includes many verses that explain the importance of the seventh-day Sabbath. In Exodus 20 verses 8 to 10, it states, Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor, and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh, your Elohim. On it you shall not do any work, you, or your son, or your daughter, your male servant, or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. Similarly, in Isaiah 58 verses 13 to 14, it says, If you turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of Yahweh honorable, if you honor it, not going your own ways, or seeking your own pleasure or talking idly, then you shall take delight in Yahweh, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. Observing the seventh-day Sabbath is a deeply personal decision that involves a commitment not only to rest and worship on Saturdays but also to prioritize one's relationship with Yahweh throughout the week. While it may seem difficult to break from the tradition of Sunday rest, for those who observe the seventh-day Sabbath, it represents a meaningful way of honoring Yahweh and living out their faith. In addition to the Bible verses mentioned earlier, there are many other references throughout the Bible to the importance of the Sabbath. For example, Hebrews 4 verses 9 to 11 states, So then, there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of Elohim, for whoever has entered Yahweh's rest has also rested from his works, as Yahweh did from his. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest, so that no one may fall by the same sort of disobedience. This verse speaks to the idea that the Sabbath rest is not only a physical rest but also a spiritual one, a time to connect with Almighty Yahweh in heaven, and experience true rest in Him. Overall, while it may not be the norm for many, observing the seventh-day Sabbath, can be a meaningful way to deepen one's faith, and find rest in a hectic world. By setting aside time to worship and reflect on this special day, individuals can experience spiritual renewal that can sustain them throughout their lives. In conclusion, while many people rest on Sundays, I choose to keep the seventh-day Sabbath to follow and honor the commandment of Yahweh. By setting aside time for Sabbath worship and reflection, I am able to strengthen my faith and find peace in a busy world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, kindly like and share this video.